Hello everyone, Canadian Wi-Fi here. Let's just go straight for an NU battle in case it's a long one and we don't end up with a crazy long video like last time. Um, yeah, I'll cut back to when we find a match. Sweet. Okay, that took zero time. Uh, okay. Died ice beam, not died ice beam. I know that from experience. Died ice beam, not died ice beam. Died ice beam, pretty much died ice beam. Um. Yeah. What else could I do here? I could lead with um. I could just get up stealth rock. Would be an interesting thingy. Hmm. I like to take advantage of lead opportunities normally. I could go with the Braviary and just start setting up if he wants to lead off with Clefairy. I'm pretty sure he's gonna lead off with that stupid thing. Uh, what is, you know. I don't think that's how you spell that. Uh, Red, hello, his name is right there. And B, and boom. Base 100! Okay, that's so much faster than Braviary. Holy moly. Um. You know, let's try it. And he apparently hadn't made a move yet either. Oh, no. Okay, it was just like, perfect. Uh, Karakosta is just gonna set up Stealth Rock. So let's go into Amoongus. And if he wants to Shell Smash, I don't think he can kill Amoongus after a E Stone Edge. Okay. He might be banded. Let's sub up. And he stealth rocks like a thought, and now something is going to sleep. No, actually, I'm just gonna Giga Drain. He missed, which is amazing, and he's gonna live with 30. Damn, I hate 30. And the Sludge Bomb, in case he wants to switch. Sub fades, probably in comes Pidgeot. And at least Caracosta is out of the way. I'll take Stealth Rock up for no Caracosta and no damage to my team. Brackshire is just going to get bored. No, apparently I'm going to get taunted as he makes a fool of me. So I'm just going to go out to... What can I do here? Possibly mill tank? Hmm. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon dance all you want. I'm gonna return as you waste a turn taunting. Wow, lag spike. That was very, very big. And he won't be able to kill me here. Take some rocky helmet and also take a return to the face. And that might do a lot. Okay. He's just getting cocky at this point. And, um, I still might live the outrage. And that's basically just going to... Yep. And now he's dead. So, that worked out nicely, and my taunt wears off on the same turn, so probably I don't know what comes out really at all. I have no clue. But two big-ass threats are out of the way. Nice and early. That's cool. Um, should we milk drink on the chance that he does something stupid? Like miss an air slash? Yeah. Um, if I go to this thing and just fire off a nice punch and a nice punch... He's gonna go out to Masharna, and what do I have to counter Masharna? I can go out to... I can start panicking, basically. Ugh. Blech. Um. Hmm. Could go out to Glaceon and just start firing off Ice Beams, but the problem is with Stealth Rock up and him being faster and me probably flinching, I don't like that. I could go out to... Yeah, let's do it. I don't think he can actually do, like, anything to me. Really. Hit me with your best shot. If your best shot is Hurricane... Eh. Yeah. Okay, it'll still break a sub, which is really disappointing. I was hoping it wouldn't. But... Um, Air Slash did, what, 31? Damn. I'm guessing Specs. Let's just go for the Brave Bird. Probably would flinch there, knowing me. Now I'm gonna die because I'm gonna flinch, and that's how Canada's day is gonna end with no respect because of a flinch. Wow, okay. 
Um, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> I want the switch in on an air slash? Absolutely nothing. Let's just kill this damn thing off. No, let's not. Uh, maybe you'll miss an air slash. You know, it's not a hundred accuracy. No, you'll flinch me twice before you'll miss an air slash. Could have seen that coming. Um, and it, the least that it has done is 28, which, or 27, which was last turn, which means that was definitely min. And basically, I'm gonna die because of stupid hacks, and I hate this, and no, that is not happening. I'm gonna go to this thing. And hopefully not take much from the air slash. Probably take like 30%. Holy crap. Okay. Just gonna protect. I'm basically... No, I don't even care. I'm stalling him. Yeah, that's what I thought. Clefairy, come in and do whatever you... I don't really care. You're a Clefairy. Uh, Miltank's dead, so I really don't want to take a Toxic. So let's go to Amoongus. In case he wants to pull some shenanigans, cosmic power, you can go to bed. Something's going to bed, basically, is how this is working. And uh, your cosmic power is kind of cute, but... <laughs> oh my god, is that stu- No, you didn't- That's not seriously what you were trying to do with that set. If he gets a first turn wake, which he can't, I'm guaranteed this turn. Masharna big middle finger to Marsharna because I can just roost up and if you want to get into a calm mind war I'm probably gonna lose the special defense drop please because if I get the special defense drop um, that is promising because it means it might not break a sub um, no nope, now it will so there really is no point subbing um, if he gets a special defense drop my because of defiant my special attack goes up two stages which would pretty much guarantee me the KO, which would be awesome. So do I want to wait until a special defense drop? Because probably a crit would come first, to be honest. Let's just Brave Bird, do 50 solid percent, and get killed with a Psychic, apparently. No? Do you have lefties? Yeah, of course you do. Okay. And I'm just going to roost up. Really, I'm just waiting for you to get a special defense drop at this point. Or go for another calm mine, in which case I'll be at high HP. I actually really like a special defense drop right now. I think I can kill you with two Brave Birds, though. So that's what I'm going to do, and not die to the Psychic. And what can come in after me and kill me is the stupid... Yeah, Pidgeot's faster, of course. Um, how much is Braver doing? 45, which means I have a couple turns to mess around with Roost. Maybe get an attack boost? No. Nope. Um, this is enough HP to live an Air Slash from Pidgeot, but I'm gonna get a little bit more. Because Brave Bird Recoil, and that will ensure me the KO on the Masharna, and ensure the survive, yep, on the Pidgeot. So that worked out quite well. If Wretched Gigas wants to come in, I will sub. I don't know if I'm faster. I probably am definitely not, considering I'm max HP, max special defense. <sighs> but, I'm talking really fast. Pidgeot, sweet. So, let's just kill the damn thing off. I don't really like you. Hurricane doesn't even kill. Get out of my kitchen. Um, Canada did good. I'm not gonna lie, kinda saved the team a little bit there. It took out the biggest threat in NU to stall teams and the Pidgeot, which is pissing off the rest of my team. And now I can just go into Sock and two close combats for the win, or do I wanna try to get off some powerful, powerful Ice Beams on the Regigigas just to weaken it a little bit and ensure me those KOs? It sounds like a good idea. Um, 58%. <laughs> yeah go die. Confuser, if I can actually hit through, no. Um, could you kill me, please? Please? Clefairy, oh, you just got smashed so hard. This thing's power is unreal. And I got paralyzed, and I wouldn't even be surprised if he woke up in cosmic powered. I wouldn't be surprised if he woke up cosmic powered and I got paralyzed again, and wow, min max. Okay. It's fine. 
soft boil. Soft boil is a cool move that you're not going to go for, but I'm going to get paralyzed and I'm going to break the wake up and go with the sock. Yup. And something's dying. <laughs> and that is GG. Because my awesome sock pony is going to win us the game. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's going to be a shorter one probably for a shorter day. Ten minutes is enough for a live narration. One match is fine. Plenty. So, GG. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.